When I open OneNote 2013 for the first time, I see my notebook. If you haven't already connected to the cloud in OneNote, you may see different notebooks. The Quick Notes section provides a number of videos and information about using OneNote. I recommend you take a few minutes to review this helpful guide. OK, so that's my notebook. Let's actually create one. To create a notebook, I click File, New, and select where I want to save my notebook. If I save it to SkyDrive, it's accessible from anywhere, on any device, and can be shared with anyone. If I save it to my computer, I can move it to SkyDrive and share it later. I'm going to save it to SkyDrive. I'm already signed in, but you don't have to be. You don't even need to have a Microsoft account yet. You can sign up for it as part of creating your notebook, and it's free. OneNote asks me if I'd like to share the notebook with other people. I'll show you how to do this in a subsequent video. My new notebook has one section, and this section has one page. These are the basic building blocks of OneNote. A notebook contains one or more sections, and a section contains one or more pages. I'll give the section a name and create additional sections. This will help me organize my notes. You don't have to organize your notebooks. OneNote has phenomenal search, or you could organize your notebooks later. It's very flexible. Now I'll give the page a title. Notice how it's also displayed in the Pages tab. I'll also add pages. For example, I'd like a different page for each lecture. To create a page, I click Add Page over here, but I can also add pages between pages like this. And now I'll give the pages titles. I right click on a pages tab, click Rename, and enter the title. Up next, I'll start taking notes.